All right. Hello, you hooligans. <laughs> Sorry about that delay. I just needed to leave you waiting. Just, uh, just the bit. You know, build the anticipation. You know why? I don't really know why. It's because it's Monday. It's uh, week four of VRML season three. We got all the numbers here in VRML. That's what we're known for. Uh, yeah, that's right. Hooligan JC3 live. But we are live. Now, you're a little bit less of a hooligan than most. I'll, I'll give you that. But a hooligan nonetheless. Uh, in any case, welcome to it. Great to see you guys here at the start of week four, our first stream of week four, and our first of a, a couple. Not really in a row, though, as we do have uh, the next match after this also, uh, starting in about an hour, so there'll be a little bit of separation. But don't worry, don't be anxious. Uh, that said, hello to, let's see, all in order, got Newton Dad, Steel Sky, uh, assuming that it was Palador. How do you know? It still might not be. I could be an imposter. Anyway, uh, Ooga Booga as well, and Yoda. Not the baby one, but still a Yoda, nonetheless. Got Buchibo in there, and Hollow. As well as Flare VR. And Mr. Ducks. Well, quack quack. Yeah, can't believe it's already week four. Uh, we're rolling right through it. Nate Appleton, also in there. Rhesus Pieces, I could go for one of those right now. Mm-mm. And Polo saying, Aurora sucks, I won before them mercy any day. Yeah, I was just, I was just talking about that uh, yesterday. I, I, you know, when talking about teams, I'd be curious of uh, Eclipse plus one versus some diamond teams. I would love to face Aurora. Now granted, don't think I'd mercy them. Don't think that at all. <laughs> but I was just thinking, you know, how would, how would a modern day Eclipse, which is to say, Rusted Eclipse fair against some of these awesome uh, diamond teams that are contesting that master slot. And don't get me wrong, right? like I said in Discord, I know if you're going up against uh, those master teams, we'd probably get wrecked. I'm not delusional. <laughs> but I think diamond, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, in any case, uh, as far as when this match starts, uh, anytime now. I did ping the teams, and unless I did it in the wrong channel, which it does not look like I did, so I think we're okay. <laughs> um... Certified also in there. Cert certified something. What are you certified at again? See uh, Queen Cobalt as well. Great to have some royalty here in the Twitch chat. It's always fun. As well as uh, Raul Dredge. And Bart Star and Smooth Raiden. Apollo saying... Too, uh, too humble, stop it. Oh, no, I don't, I don't think, I'm, I'm realistic here. Now, maybe Eclipse plus one plus a couple months of scrims and stuff. You know, maybe. Maybe we could do something. But, uh, with how these teams at the top tiers are playing these days, oh no, we'd get wrecked. <laughs> at least at first. At least at first. I did get to play with Lemming and Simeon, uh, in a, in a few pubs and privates back in the quest betas. I will say it felt pretty good. Uh, we still had, even after a year without playing together, we still had a lot of that chemistry and such. It was fun. You know, we got we got it going. Still felt right. You know, a few missed shots here and there. Regardless, I mean, everything else was pretty solid, I will say. But uh, yeah, no, the game's, game's super different these days. The level of talent's super different these days. Got a lot of, lot of uh, super great players. I mean, we've seen it in streams day to day. You know, uh, and that was we see the debut here of Team Slushy on stream. Versus Chaos. Oh, Chaos, we have seen them uh, quite a bit this last year. Year plus now, since pre-season one, uh, back in end of 2019. But but yeah, it will be a stream debut for Slushy, so I'm excited to see what they can do, because look at this. They're in the Silver Division. They are 4-1 and one on the records. Uh, and coming up here on the, their, again, their stream debut for this season against a, well, much more seasoned team, that is to say, at Chaos, with Chaos, and they're at 3-4 and four on the records so far. Uh, just one spot above them on the ranks, so I'm very curious to see how the, these guys perform. Oh yeah, uh, predictions, stuff like that, stuff like that. You guys want one? I can do that. Haven't readied up yet. They're actually, what are they doing here in the middle? What's going on here? I'm, I may just unmute this. Never mind. They are already unmuted. Either that or. Suddenly, spectator mute has been patched in the game. One of the two. Never mind. I can't hear a thing. <laughs> All right. Well, 
In any case, let me uh, let me get this poll up for you guys real quick for your channel points, because I know you guys value them. Whether it's because you like making me say words, like making me drink, or because you want to get your games casted. You know, I got some stuff to uh, to redeem on a regular basis here. Now I do see they have apparently five people on actually the side of Slushy, although. Given that we do have a McFabulous one, that is to say Dano in there, one of our moderators, I'm sure that he'll make that clear uh, for all of them. Oh, wait, I'm blind, yeah, so, okay, this must be... Unless all the teams literally just muted, uh, muted themselves, then... Seems like, seems like spectator mode is now uh, just on mute by default, that is interesting. Because, yeah, F5 ain't doing it anymore. Uh, hey, Rad, if you're watching, <laughs> thank you guys. Alright, uh, anyways, yeah, poll! Gosh, I'm getting lost here. Team Slushy, uh, versus Chaos. How long does it take one door to type, uh, three words? <laughs> Alright, uh, how long should I give it? Two minutes? Five minutes? I don't know. I have no idea when these guys are starting. Well, two minutes. That's, that's what you're gonna have to deal with, so you better act fast! Here you go. Uh, anyways. Anyways, uh, speaking of redemptions, well... JC3 Live asking for it, and sure. Uh, however, I do not have a water. You want to know what I have? Can you guess? Can you guess? I, why did I just shake it? I should not have shaken that. I made this mistake back in Seal. But I have uh, committed to it now. It's too late to go back to my fridge. Very gently now. Ah, that was pleasant. Okay. Not, not, whoa, oh, 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 okay, never mind. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I lied, it, it, it fooled me. There was a little bit of a delay to it. Anyway, uh, Dr. Pepper, that is correct. <laughs> that is, in fact, correct. And, uh, oh, let's see, someone, who was that? I, I can only assume, uh, Flair there. Perhaps, saying, time to lose all my channel points, so well, I don't know what that means, but I do see big bets in there. I mean, someone has uh, 25k now, or at least collectively, it's up to 27k, so... Uh, mind you, again, the, the the rewards are kind of based on the pool, so if you bet a ton of points on one team, but the other team doesn't have a ton of points in their favor, you stand to lose quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, compared to, let's say, if the less favored team wins... They're gonna take all your monies! They're gonna get all the casts! Princess saying mods can't predict. Well, sure you can, just not officially. Kind of counter counterintuitive, huh? You feel like, hey, I'm an official official, so I should be able to officially vote on an official basis, but... I'm sorry, Princess, you officially can't, but then again, neither can I. Alas, alas. Anyway, poll about to conclude, and there it is, so... 96% of the channel points go in Chaos's way. Uh, 17 votes compared to 7 for Slushy. So... You know, 17 to 7 on the vote total, but 96% to 4 on the channel point uh, bet differential. Interesting. Well, we shall see. Princess uh, says, I veto this ruling pally, give me my perms. Like, like for your hair? Or... It's a Twitch thing, I, I, I can't, I can't overrule Twitch, not yet anyways. One day I'll take them over, but first, first it's time to conquer this Dr. Pepper! It's been conquered. Or at least, it's been sipped from. Uh, sponsor me! Dr. Pepper. But that said, you know who does sponsor, well, not me, but VR Master League, of course, we got ourselves the great sponsors in HyperX and Assyrian products. We have Pro2 VR, and you gotta be aware of VR, where, of course, and VR cover, fixed gaming, providing our music. Our wonderful sponsors, of course, providing uh, the support and prizes across our league, across our community. So, still some communication. Now, see, I like I like uh, the fact that this was updated rather immediately. Again, if you're you're watching, Radid, you're lovely people. But uh, now, see, it's times like this in the pregame that I really wish I could just get an ear on what's going on here. I'm so curious because they're so animated. Look at them. Look at them. Want to know the game plan? 
Then again, I guess me wanting to know the game plan is exactly why this has been patched. I had devious intentions, but no more, no more. I don't know, let's see, maybe there's maybe there's a separate button for it. Let me pull this up real quick. Yeah, it doesn't look like, look like anything changed, so just by default, spectator mode is on permamute. Oh boy. Never again shall I be able to hear Strambitsky in the pregame shouting expletives that make me laugh and cringe. <sighs> oh well, I suppose it's okay. <laughs> yep, yeah, nope, F6 doesn't work. So yeah, no, it's it, it's it's straight up uh patch. But like I said, for a reason. That's that's good stuff. Now teams can feel very very comfortable with trash talking uh, each other and uh, opponents and casters without us hearing it. So you have a free reign now from this point forward. Feel free. <laughs> uh, in any case, let's see. Laser asking, are they fighting over who has to leave the game? You know what? Good question. Uh, based off that body language, maybe. That's a thing. We can make a whole segment of that and uh, maybe make a... We'll run a prediction poll on that alone. Guess what they were saying. Then we'll have to find out after the match. That said, guess what? We got a game. It's starting. That much I do know. So, hey, round one about to be underway. So, thank you guys for joining us here. Yoda saying Pally sad. No, never, never, never sad when I get to come here and cast some uh, VR Master League matches every single day. So let's go. First joust underway for Dano and Co. It's Chaos. Get that first possession all training down the floor. And over into the midfield. Uh, Egret saying, oh, audio issues. That might make some sense. So apparently not only was spectator volume patched, it was apparently all volume. No, that's okay. Uh, anyways, Akadi with the disc gonna send it over to Philibus. Philibus riding it over to the Dano. The Dano, but that was the save from the pancake. Uh, but that was definitely a nice grab there. Smooth as butter as Akadi. Ooh, almost smooth as butter, but instead a little bit of a pancake spilled apparently. But now they're gonna go for this dough as they roll into the goal, and it's Philibus finding the hole. It's two points. First for Chaos. Pretty good start. After a little bit of disarray, but it wouldn't be chaos without that. Correct? Correct. Mighty Quinn in there. Let's go. We're going. We are going. And also, Zuchi of the, the Miz kind, unless it's a different one. I don't know. There could always be other Zuchis in this league. Who knows? But uh, welcome to the stream as well. Good to see you. Marcus plays. And uh, let's see. Going for those plays. But right past the goal. Field bust here with a disc, gonna be uh, approached by Toucan as well as a Sage, but Dano, now he is a Sage, a real teacher of this game, taught me many of things in life. Maybe. Uh, will be four points for Chaos off of that. Now into the tunnels, again this is a stream debut for Team Slushy here, Chaos of course, we know them, we've seen them, we love them. Uh, but. Kind of interested in seeing this team here in Slushy, who are in fact 4-1, and one, a very successful record here in Silver Division, trying to climb that ladder some more, but that said, Dano McFabulous with the disc, so Pancake's gonna take place in goal, Philibus going for it! Oh, that was coordinated so beautifully. Wow, seven points going uh, the way of chaos. JC3 Live asking, how does one be a front row fan? Uh, you hover over the Twitch player here uh, while we're live. And you should see an extension there. Uh, I think it's a yeah, 100 bits minimum or so. Now, so bear in mind, now I had had this uh, discussion with the extension developer. I was under the assumption it was supposed to be a 30-day period that you stayed in the front row. As I discovered, it was only five days. But they didn't update that on their website, so uh, I may be in litigation with them right now. Just kidding, I'm not. But that said, uh, they updated it because of apparently people wanted it shorter. But they're also going to give us some custom links in a soon-to-come patch. So, just so you know, if you get in the front row, you'll be there for at least five days, and eventually when they allow us to change that, even longer. But until then, uh, Pancake Butter with a recovery as he sends it into the mid lane. Uh, Toucan is there for a grab and immediate fling into the orange zone. Now, a uh, bit of a boost coming in, hot for, well, all of Chaos. Now, some good stuns coming in as well. Oh, big grab, but unfortunately, Akadi was in the goal, so that shot will not be on. Now with that, it's going to be a KD with a disc, uh, contested here by Double, but uh, Double, well, actually be about to get that pass. Now a crossover, but the bow tie in the way. Uh, so very professional of it. But that said, Rainsy with the back out to a KD. 
And Katie, uh oh, losing it out here to double off that Geo. So maybe an opportunity as they cross pass it over to Toucan. A nice dive, a nice duck. Oh, and a strong score. How about that from Toucan? Who can but Toucan? And they got the first two goals. That was aggressive. 17 meters a second, it says, but I don't believe it. That looked like at least 1700. But uh, six minutes, 17 seconds remaining. And uh, there you go. There you go. Make an ace. Say it. Who's Cam's? I'm Cams. You flatter me, sir. Uh, but yeah, just just me for uh, this current cast and Cam, uh, Cam stream. As Rainzy will try to get it in, but no, it's gonna be uh, Pancake Butter bouncing off of him. A tap. Oh, Daniel! Throw his arms up in the air because indeed he does care. As do I. That was a uh, spectacular off the backboard. What what a touch! What a touch! Mark is saying, there's so many points on Slushy, if Chaos wins, I will laugh. I mean, look, it could be the could be the case here. We shall see. I mean, these teams, uh, they're ranked from what I uh, recall, uh, 63 and 64 currently. Of course, in a league full of, what, 270 teams now, just about. Uh, you're talking high level still yet. Which, again, it's kind of why it's impressive to, to find Team Slushy here. You know, not knowing this roster quite as well. But right along here with uh, some some veteran teams, some teams ret uh, returning from season two as well. I mean, they're in some good company as Team Slushy right now, uh, trying to deal some damage over on the Chaos side of the floor. I mean, they had it here for a little bit, but ultimately will be retained by Chaos as the punches uh, unleash, as does the disc. And that's gonna bounce. Oh boy, that's very very close again. We already saw that tap off the backboard from Dano earlier. Now that one almost a success, but two can a successful clear. So now trying to gather their stacks, a missed regrab there. However, now still yet it will be uh, taken by Sage Espacio. I was almost gonna say Sage Espacito, but nonetheless it's gonna go right back conveniently to two can. So two can. Uh, trying to be a serial threat here in the midfield, but a uh, KD, uh, Pancake B Butter uh, will send it over, but Dano, another recovery. So, back uh, possession to Dano. I know I said that backwards. Possession back to Dano, or back possession, whatever the case is. I don't think your back could possess a disc, but if it does, well, congratulations. In any case, double trouble. Uh, sending it over to Toucan. Toucan's gonna whirl this sun up the floor. They have a cutter and Sage perhaps actually gonna anchor over here as he uh, cuts into the goal perhaps uh, trying to paint that corner against Akadi. Of course, Akadi a talented goalie, so you gotta paint those corners sometimes. But that said, the paint spilling outside of the lip and they will recover though for Sage. So Sage is gonna make a play up in here. Trying to bounce it on over to, well, somebody. That said, getting uh, stunned out from double. And now Sage, another shot, but see, Akadi in the way. You cannot deny Akadi, for he will deny you if you're not careful. That said, over on the side wall now. Sage with a disc, gonna recover that one. Has that barrier pass. Gonna whirl around, anchor down, but another ding. Recovery, and Sage Espacio. And that was clean. I'm trying to remember, uh, doesn't Espacio, isn't that clean? Does that, uh, that translate to clean? Maybe not. I don't know. Look, I took multiple years of Spanish. I retained nearly nothing except for, uh, the Spanish rap from the show Community. Other than that, uh, Donde Esta My Brain. Uh, Philibus here, gonna send it over across, though, to the wedge as Daniel McFabulous takes it and sends it to Rainsy. Rainsy having it lost, though, to Toucan with a good steal stun. And, uh, the boost coming down the floor, three of them, but everyone overshooting just a little bit as Dano does eventually get that, but not for long. Uh, Toucan is there with another grab. So Toucan Sam with a Toucan hands, but Rainsy VR over to the trap. Now taken back by Akadi, Akadi. Midways. And that was, in fact, a pun of its own, if you think about it hard. But that said, uh, we'll be Sage with a disc over to Toucan. Toucan now trying to eye down a... Oh, oh a juke! But once was nice, twice was a little bit too much as Philippus gets him back. That was kind of a crafty juke. And now a hoop exposed, not made. Rebound still yet going to be had by Sage. Sage making a play off the backboard this time, but not the results they were looking for quite yet, at least. As the cloud recovery from Toucan comes in. So Toucan in the clouds. Toucan to the nest. And now... Oh no, it's the very best of the defense, but trouble! Make it a double, that is a two-pointer. 
Indeed. It's three points! Differential, one minute 40 left. Team Slushy, impressing so far. They're down by a few, but they are playing hard here and really contesting uh, Chaos, despite some great defense, again, from Akadi. Has had a couple good grabs now. Uh, so into the tunnel on this launch, a minute 20 left. And also, thank you to JC for joining the front row. So watch that from your good view. It's Philip Bust trying to put Slushy in the rear view, at least for this round. Vortex glow as well. Looking for the comeback situation here. Well, hey, as a caster, I'm on board with it. I mean, I love I love chaos. I love me some chaos, and not just the team, but chaos in general. But uh, <laughs> but uh, as a caster. I'm looking for this comeback. Unfortunately, <laughs> will not be the case as a nice, nice shot from Philip Bus, just backboarding it from uh, 20 meters out. And that was quick as well. So last minute of play in this first round, looking like a chaos win. And denying that momentum that otherwise was starting to build for Slushy. Egret saying, I'm on the bench this round, feels bad, man. Well, hey, me too. I'm still waiting for a call back to some... Uh, trying out for all kinds of teams, and they said, no, Pally, you're too old. Uh, Toucan over here with a disc, gonna drive it in and does not miss. It's a eight-point uh, margin, not margin, but eight-point total. <laughs> They're gonna finish off with this in this round as it winds down, uh, 14 to 8. So with that, still very competitive. Again, Chaos is, you know, a team uh, full of returning, you know, veteran players. So, hey, to have Slushy come in here and, and impress the way that they did, you know, let's see what they do in, in the second round. I mean, it's close enough where you can easily see this going either way. And, uh, <laughs> uh oh. Hey, hey, Princess, do you, are you still in the chat? Let me know. <laughs> I have some bad news. <laughs> uh,. I see Princess about eight minutes ago, or six minutes ago. <laughs> Redeemed season VIP. Unfortunately, this is a Twitch thing, not not me. Uh, mods cannot be VIPs. It's it's a Twitch role, so out of my hands. Um, man, I, apparently it it really stinks being a an, an official in VRML, huh? <laughs> uh, and yes, I realize the. Stats aren't showing. That might have been my bad. I'm not going to pin that on anyone else but me. So you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to go back to the uh, score screen. And just show you it manually. Uh, so get a look at it real quick before the second round starts. I'm pretty sure that was a me thing, not an Ignite thing. Don't you worry. Uh, I was a little bit frazzled before the stream had started, don't you know? Trying to get things together because I was on PTS version and I had to re-download some stuff and then... Anyway, never you mind, because guess what? We got the second round coming in. So, uh, let's go. It'll be grabbed here by Toucan. Toucan over to the midfield. And, uh, by the way, Princess, don't worry. I will refund you your points, so y you don't lose your points, at least. <laughs> As a shot goes out from Egret. How about that? Stepping in now in this round. So, Egret going from the, the Twitch chat to the game chat. At least, supposedly. I don't know, because I can't actually hear. <laughs> Oh, Princess said uh, you could have it. Is that true? If so, well then, re-redeem it, and... Sure. If it's not true, well... Wow, putting Princess on the spot. I mean, she's royalty, royalty as well. We got a couple regal people in the Twitch chat, so, uh... You might be going to the Gulag here in a second, otherwise. With that said, uh, Sage with the disc right back for Team Slushy. The first minute of action, just uh, trying to find some control. Oh, the spin! Why not? And it's in for Philip Bus. Looking slick on that. Putting in some of that, uh, those, those Philly moves, I guess. Now, what that means, I don't really know. So, uh, launching out, we'll be grabbed by Sage. Sage over to the tunnel by the station, but that sack well prepared. Uh, just getting by Sage's arms. And we'll get into Akades, but a ding. And that's going to sail back to the midfield. Taken now by Double Trouble. And a boost coming on in. 
Boos uh, getting the grabs now for Dano, however, and uh, Dano and Philibus, but a good interception. Toucan flying through the air there. Now sending it over to Double, Double. Oh, ooh, that was kind of a, some mustard on the, that pass there, but a good catch actually from Sage. So Sage sending it right back to Double, and Double gets their first couple here in round two. So five to two, but hey, still right in it. And that was some nice passing plays uh, we saw there from Team Slushy. They were, you know, trying to position out and give themselves, you know, some angles, not piling literally right on top of each other. That's where you can get in some trouble, but giving the spacing and, you know, putting the disc in the right area at the very least. Winter in there saying, wow, NA VRML is so different. Or you're just saying, not NA, maybe you're just saying, nah. Nah, VRML is so different, and yes, yes we are. We are unique here in this league, as it's going to be taken by Egret And uh, over onto the side wall, Philbus having to contest Pancake perhaps, but both of them misreading the disc a little bit, kind of looking for some grabs instead. A good stun though from Pancake, turning him into batter, and indeed it was batter from Pancake, but that said, uh, over here trying to energize themselves like a battery, it's double trouble setting it to the nest again, but seeing it is Philbus, Philbus getting that clear. Uh, so now up to these stacks, but... Meanwhile, in the front line, Egret looking like he's gonna get there. Let's see. Has an angle and will convert right as the defense arrives. It's eight to two. Sir Captain Spoon, love you, Scrimbe. Who's Scrimbe? Scrimbe Matumbo. He was an NBA player, I think. Uh, Sage Espacio over to the tunnel. Gonna be grabbed by Double. Now, re-grabbing them uh, is Philibus and Dano looking for the contest here, just being really aggressive. Now, have to be careful because it's kind of a four on two. The other two players not quite in position. Uh, one in the midfield, granted, but yeah, just a lot of a lot of interference being ran. Now, that said, Sage is still gonna be able to get the disc, not too much of an issue. So, just awaiting the return. Of the defense and trying to get that through. A few different arms. How did that get through? Uh, will be Egret though, dealing some stuns and dealing some damage. So, I mean, the fact that that disc got there is hold on, that barrier was there. And now, uh, three from Philip Bus. And four minutes in, they've got 11 points in this round already. Starting to really turn up that heat. They scored 14 in round one in those 10 minutes, but already close to that total. And still plenty of time to go. See, Winter in there saying, only time I clear mid is if it's a full court shot. Man, people making full courts even on the tunnel clears now as the Philibus is in the clear for the goal. Another quick turnover, only 10 seconds. So Team Slushy here starting to fall behind just a little bit, uh, but still in it with five minutes left. Uh, if they can just turn up the heat, uh, not that they want to melt their slush, but they do want to start heating up at the very least on the offensive end. You know, still still in, in it here, and regardless of uh, anything else, you know, you still want to score as much as you can, keep the keep the margins as close as you can, because that also matters, and, you know, playing here against Chaos, they're gonna keep rolling up the floor, but a fantastic grab from Pancake! So Pancake sending it through on a nice mid-clear, uh, but that one will just be the stack uh, getting it right back. All the meanwhile, you can hear kind of the brawls in the back lane. Uh, sent to the mid lane, Philibus. Philibus just having it bounce back towards his way. And finally picked off there. Soft pass to the bow tie. Dano now finding himself uh, with another goal opportunity after after that uh, pass to Igret. Ogret. Igret. 15 2 for Chaos. All right, so uh, with that grab, 4-10 remaining here in this game. Uh, barring a comeback from Slushy, the thing is in round one, Slushy did have uh, some nice opportunities at it, and they made a bit of a run in that latter portion, but kind of have their hands full at the moment, and a disproportional lead going the way of Chaos. They are really rocking and rolling at the moment. See, uh, going for that backboard play, which is always a, a great area to go to it. Now, Egret from there will send it to the back. And Philibus continuing to score. And score uh, frequently and efficiently at that. But see that backboard play? As we like to say, why is it good for a multitude of reasons? I mean, one, you got 
You pass it to someone on the backboard, they have so many options. You can, first of all, you're making the goalie turn his head around, that's one threat. Two, you uh, open up to, uh, you open yourself up to some jukes, that's the second threat. And the triple threat not quite in for Philibus that time, but a rebounded shot will be, in fact, found by Akadi. And then the third threat for the backboard pass is even if you uh, don't shoot it afterwards, you can cross it back over to someone cutting in from the front, or maybe going for a dunk. The point is, by going to the backboard, you're making the defense turn their heads, and by making them turn their heads, they have less time to adjust and less time to focus on uh, cutters from, you know, back front, side to side. Back, back, front, front, side to side. The shot there a little bit off, and now going back, back to the mid lane. Taken here by Akadi. Uh, Katie sending it over to Philibus. Philibus with an opportunity. The defense trying to get back and uh, collapsing into the goal in that very top pocket. A nice shot for Philibus to kind of cap off what has been a stellar round for him. Uh, that will unfortunately for Team Slushy beat the Mercy in round two. Not quite able to find that, that magic that they had going on for them in the first. But still a lot of impressive takeaways nonetheless I think. You know, sometimes, especially first of all, being on the stream for the first time, uh, that's always a factor. And then second of all, as anyone who's played at any division knows, uh, when you tend to get down early and get down by a few goals, it can be easy sometimes to uh, to lose that, that focus a bit. And that's why we see round to round uh, a big dramatic swings sometimes between teams. So I think if we take the average of round one and, and round two, we can say that Chaos played well, but Slushy did too. Uh, but just a stronger exit round for the Chaotic Ones. Now, mind you... Uh, yes, your points, your points, I get your point. One second. <laughs> I was gonna do it, but then but then you started nagging and now I'm just not going to... Just kidding. Wow, I got aggressive today. You know I love you. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Choose channel prediction outcome. I shall do that. I'm saying it out loud so I don't mess up here because I am very susceptible to errors as you guys have, guys have seen. Even just typing the teams already up sometimes gets a little bit messy. Uh, there you go. Your points. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Don't you worry. Uh, redeeming hydrate there is only rains. And when it rains, it pours. Dr. Pepper, in fact, at the moment. So thank you for that. But uh, taking a look at the stats as I take a sip. Now that's refreshing. But that said... Taking a look at the stats here, a great game. Uh, needless to say, for Philippus, 16 points. 16 strong points. Uh, yeah. Very, uh, very, very impressive. Uh, with two assists as well and 20 stuns. Of course, I mean, his teammates facilitating. Uh, Egret coming in here. Uh, has the uh, the eight points and one assist, 14 stuns and, uh, coming in uh, in this round. Uh, Dano with the uh, seven points and three assists. As well as 18 stuns. He had uh, Akadi with three points, an assist, three steals, and three saves as well. So a lot of threes across the board for Akadi. Akade three, in fact. But definitely showing that propensity and intensity on the defensive end. Over on Slushy's side of things, it was double trouble with a double double, which is a save, four points, and uh, has two saves in there as well. He had Pancake Butter with an assist and a save and 14 stuns. Uh, Sage with two points, two assists. And a steal, 13 stuns. And then for Toucan, it was four points, one assist, one save, two steals, 10 stuns. But on the whole, I mean, look, the saves are even, 50-50. The steals are even, 50-50. Uh, the assists also, not too far off. Like That's the other uh, impressive thing as well. I mean, you know, Chaos is scoring output a lot higher in the second round and across both rounds. But still, uh, when Team Slushy did score, it was off of these assists as well. Uh, finding those passing plays. And just trying to, you know, find that find that even distribution if they could. But uh, yeah, with that said, with that said, uh, that will do it for probably now. Uh, we still have, I mean, 20 minutes till the next stream. Uh, so you got some other requests in there, actually. Uh, Hollow saying, especially you could have taken this if they worked on QBs and clear. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's going to be valuable footage to look uh, for them to look over being streamed here for the first time and kind of look at basically what chaos did and what they and what they did or didn't do things like that i know uh you know for being again a newer roster to the best of my my knowledge here i don't believe any of these current players were in uh unless i changed their names could be wrong you know i should i should start doing what dimwi is doing 
which is to say something I used to do like in preseason and actually take notes. The thing is, we had uh, the amount of teams that we had before were like low enough in the sense that you know preseason one we had 40 teams, season season one or 30 teams, and season one we had like 42 teams. Season two it went up to 170 or something. Point is, when it was 40 teams, I could remember all this stuff at once. Getting a little bit more difficult, but that's a good problem to have, so I think notes are going to be a necessity. But... But yeah, uh, just taking a look at the website right now, uh, and... At least... Among the first few players I've clicked, yeah, it looks like these are all mainly new players to this season of VR Master League. So that's what I mean. Uh, they're they're going to figure out some of those more fine, uh, finer points of competitive play and fine-tune their gameplay and their strategy. But it, the tools are there. The tools are absolutely there to keep rising up this ladder, I think, with just some minor tweaks. They they definitely impress, for sure. For sure. Uh, Abchu saying, I hope all their internet fails. What? Who are you wishing that on? Hopefully not me, because I already dealt with that enough last season. I don't want any more of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really bold and I hope I don't jinx it right here, because the last time I had some internet issues was like a week before the season started. And I haven't had it since then, though. And with that said, I'm definitely going to have internet issues in this next match. You, you watch, you watch. <laughs> uh, what? That's, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Nightfire in the chat there. Yeah, correct. Uh, Corrosion and Anomaly is going to be up next about 20 minutes from now, so... I'm probably gonna end the stream. I mean, we, we do have some content, but... I think it, it's, you know, just for the sake of, uh, better organizing the VODs and making it less work for, for deck and <laughs> uh, Also, just keep these, keep these VODs separate when we can, so I'll probably end it here in a minute, but, uh, yeah, Anomaly versus Corrosion is coming up in 20 minutes at the top of the hour. Interesting thing there, you want to tune in, because Corrosion is undefeated so far. They are one of the, uh, few teams, few and far between teams left between, uh, Master and, and Diamond who have not lost the match in these first few weeks of action, so you definitely want to tune in for that soon. Uh, Flair asking how does bronze and silver and all that work? Uh, it's just, it's it's percentage based essentially. So uh, I, I don't have off the top of my head the exact percentages, but uh, uh, the top X percent of teams in the league are master, and then the next X percent of teams in the league, uh, in terms of like MMR, are you know uh, diamond and then gold and silver, bronze and so on. So it's just percentage, you know, a, a portion of the league is going to be bronze just based on how many teams we have, so it's, it's it's proportional, basically. There you go, princess with the numbers. This is why she's a VIP with or without the redemptions uh, on the channel points. So there you go. Princess always in the clutch. Uh, but with that, uh, <laughs> no pink for you, which is, by the way, is the same as, uh, as purple. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't tell Verds. Or, or do tell Verds. <laughs> Snipe's saying dance for you. I mean, I just did. Maybe, but how would you know if I did? I do not dance with sound. But, okay. I think that covers most of the things. I mean, a lot of you guys busy and active in here. I don't like missing stuff in chat, but it looks like... At least as far as highlighted messages or shoutouts, I covered everything. So I think I'm good. My conscience is clear. Uh, so you guys, I'm going to end the stream real quick. And we'll be back in another 10, 15 minutes or so. Again, top of the hour. Uh, so tune in for uh, the undefeated Corrosion facing off against uh, Anomaly here in the Diamond Division. But until then, I've been Paldor on the cast and cams. This has been VRML, the start of week four. Uh, be happy, healthy, safe, and good to each other, and I'll see you again in another 20. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX. 
Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. I had nothing for breakfast, by, by the way, Flair. Just, just wanted to get that out there. Okay, bye.